7 Constipation Remedies Worth Trying When You Just Can't Poop Constipation can be a real pain in the butt. But beating it might be easier than you think. Making some good for your health habits part of your routine is good for your bowels, too, says Mage Rizk, MD, a gastroenterologist at the Cleveland Clinic. If your pipes are all clogged up, first try simple lifestyle changes to help you go number two before moving on to the heavy hitters. The way I would rank constipation remedies would be from first-line therapies to last-line therapies, says Risk. Think of first-line as lifestyle changes you can make and last-line as options you have after you attempt those tweaks. And first, a note on what doesn't work, no matter how tempting it may be to take one, just say no to laxatives. They can be effective in the short term, but in the long term, they can cause bowel dependence which means the bowel won't contract without the stimulant, says Risk. Here are seven strategies anked in the order you should try them before moving on to the next. One method of relieving constipation isn't necessarily better than another. Sometimes, you may need meds to help clear things out. First, everything from meds for sinus issues to the pills you pop for high blood pressure can have effects on your GI tract, slow motility movement through your gut and lead to drier stools and constipation, says Risk. So too, can medications for chronic pain, he says. Be particularly careful of anticholinergic eds that can dry out parts of your body like your sinuses but that can also lead to constipation. Not sure of the side effects of the pills you're on? Ask your doc. Next. Dehydration is one of the most common causes of constipation. And you're adequately hydrated. Your body doesn't need to conserve water, says Risk. And your body is dehydrated, it leads to increased absorption of water within your large intestine and can lead to dry, hard stools. So check your pee if you're filled up on enough H20, it should be more clear than yellow, and get your 8 glasses a day. If that doesn't work, it's true, you can run your way to better bowel habits. The very act of working out shakes your GI tract good thing when it comes to beating constipation. Very time you're running, for example, you're causing vibrations and causing your GI tract to move, allowing gravity to work and things move things along, says Risk. Ever heard of runner's diarrhea? Case in point. After that, you should try. There's no way around it, your diet and your poop are intricately connected. To speed along a stalled system, Aim for between 25 to 50 grams of fiber a day, including breads, grains, and fruits and vegetables, says Risk. Fiber loosens stools up a little bit, so instead of them becoming compact and dry, they'll be less compact, he says. Go for Greek yogurt, too. Oods that contain natural bacteria can promote good bowel health, too, adds Risk. And remember to keep your protein in check. The higher the protein content and the lower the carb content in your foods, the more of a problem you're going to have with constipation, he says. And then. Turns out, the guys behind the squatty potty were onto something. Here are different positions on the toilet that can improve how we have bowel movements, says Risk. The way we do it in the US is not the natural way to have one. Why? in part because your anorectal angle he bend between your rectum and your anuscessin straight when you simply sit down. Because of that, gravity can do its work, he explains. By putting your feet up on a stool while you're sitting on the john, you're taking advantage of gravity and straightening out that angle, allowing for a better bowel movement, he says. When you poop is important, too. I have yourself the appropriate time to have a bowel movement, says Risk. That's usually a little bit after you've eaten and your GI tract is active. If you make going to the bathroom after breakfast a habit, for example, your body will learn to adapt. If none of those work. If lifestyle changes like ramping up your fiber intake and your sweat sessions don't work to free things up and you're still having infrequent bowel movements that cause bloating or abdominal discomfort is suggests a still softener. They contain delcusate a surfactant that helps make poop wetter and therefore easier to pass. Lastly, nothing seemed to fix the problem. Risk says there are plenty of other medicines out there that can ease constipation. You can use non-absorbable sugars and salts, he says, or see your doc for a prescription. Prescription meds, 
like lubipristone and linaclotide, can sometimes be an option. Methylmaltrexone is also a prescription medicine that can treat constipation caused by pain meds, he says.